In this video, we're going to take a look at using our exponent properties to simplify an expression with rational exponents. There are several exponent properties to keep track of, and so we'll kind of follow order of operations as a guide. By first simplifying the numerator and denominator as much as possible, before we start reducing the fraction as a whole. In the numerator, we see the number 2. Actually, let's move down below, and I'll use this side as chicken scratch as I work my math with my fractions. We see the whole number 2. There's nothing to multiply 2 by, so we'll keep the 2 up on top in the numerator. We also see x squared and x to the 1 half. When we combine those together in a single x, multiplying two x's together says we're going to add the exponents, 2 plus 1 half. In order to add the exponents, we need a common denominator, so we'll multiply by 2 to give us 4 halves plus 1 half, which is 5 halves. The exponent on x is 5 halves. Similarly, with the y's, we have 2 thirds and 5 sixths. 2 thirds plus 5 sixths. The common denominator is 6, so we'll multiply by 2 to get 4 sixths plus 5 sixths, which is 9 sixths. We can reduce that by dividing by 3 to get 3 halves. The exponent on y is 3 halves. In the denominator, we have the single x to the 7 halves, and y to the 0, we remember, is a special property. Anything to the 0 power is simply 1. Be careful to avoid the error of saying it's y to the 1st. It is not y to the 1st. That would imply we have 1 y. Anything to the 0 power is simply 1. That's it, 1. Now that we've simplified the numerator and denominator, we can start to divide. Dividing the numbers, 2 over 1 is going to reduce to a 2. On the x's, we need to subtract the exponents. When dividing two x's, we subtract the exponents. 5 halves minus 7 halves is negative 2 halves, or negative 1. You may recall that the negative exponent is going to move that x to the negative 1 down into the denominator as a single x to the positive 1 now. The y to the 3 halves has nothing to combine with it, and so it will stay in the numerator, giving us 2y to the 3 halves over x for our final simplified answer. We know this answer is completely simplified because there's a single x and a single y, no variable appears twice, there's no negative exponents, and there's no parentheses. We were able to use our exponent properties and provide some chicken scratch room for us to show our work in order to arrive at our final solution.